Hi again. I know it has been a little while since we have been together on here. Five months to be exact. And to be honest, I didn't know when I would be coming back to YouTube or if I would ever come back. But I did always hope for this moment to feel like I was ready to create on here again. So before I dive into this video, I want to give you guys some little updates on my life. I still live in my house in LA with JT, my fiance, and River, my son, my dog. We did move things around, so now my old office that you guys have seen is JT's office, and my old master bedroom is now my new office, and it's in the works. I still have my baby, my business form with my incredible growing team. My best friend and business partner and I started a podcast called Transform. And updates on me, I feel like I have been so focused on what is truly important to me and in my life. I've been focusing on being more present, finding balance, loving myself more, pouring into my relationships, expanding my practice, playing more and giving myself so much grace to being a human. I am so excited you are here. If you are new, welcome. If you are returning, I'm so grateful. I am here to share my life and I hope it brings any magic to yours. On the way home Called you for a little piece of mine Was out looking for some healing But it seemed a little hard to find No man's an island Do you not see that I need you As you need me A year, month, any weekend Is no match for my loyalty I'm sweet jumping to your defense Question, would you do the same for me? They say distance can make the heart grow fonder But for you I wonder Cause if I'm not by your side Are you still on mine? I was on the way down I've been on my knees this whole week So when I need you most Will you be my echo? I was feeling drowned up Searching for some sweet even begin kind of moment um, but we're here and I'm doing it so welcome back to my channel I am so grateful you are here I am so grateful if you are here as someone who has been a part of this journey with me this YouTube journey and I'm also so grateful for anyone who is new here Welcome to my channel. I am feeling super flippin' excited to dive into YouTube again. I think I'm also feeling a little bit nervous, a little bit of pressure of wanting it to just be everything that I'm desiring it to be based on me taking some time away and really, really understanding what my purpose here is on YouTube and a huge purpose I feel is to continue to share my life in a way that is grounding, inspirational, relatable, honest, um, not perfect by any means and I really hope and excited for you guys to feel that through these videos. I honestly feel like I got a lot of inspiration from other creators on YouTube and I think for a long time I was just feeling like I was putting out content and it wasn't coming from a very true place. It was coming from a I have to place and YouTube is probably the number one place where I feel the energy of 
creating and being super real and raw and creating these videos from a creative side as well as a storytelling side. And when I started to lose that and feel this like transactional or maybe that's not even the right word, but like kind of this deadline energy and I needed to take a little break. And I'm really grateful I took that break because it allowed me to just understand what my purpose on here is. And I feel so excited to, again, just live and breathe that through these videos. And for you guys to just be along in the journey, which I know so many of you have. And I just wanna say thank you so much for returning, if you are, and for just being a um, supporter and, I guess, lover to me, your heart, your thoughts about me, I can feel them to my core and it allows me to show up here knowing that I'm showing up, again, not trying to be perfect or pressured or feel like I need to be a certain way, but feel fully accepted by you guys that I can be absolutely myself. And so I just wanna say thank you for that, truly. With this 2024 energy, my word is presence and I am excited to be really present with myself and have these incredible downloads and creative bursts of how I want to share with you guys of the lessons I'm learning, being a human, having a career, having a relationship, wanting to one day start a family, living in Los Angeles, living in this world, being a 29 year old woman. I want to just um, humanize the experience of that we're all having and hopefully you can feel that and relate to that and connect to that. So um, I guess I would love to know while I, this is my first video back, if you feel called to, I'd love to hear what you feel like you are either excited about for this year to lean into, what you are feeling that you're working on or leaning into in maybe your healing journey um, or your life journey. And I'm excited to support you in that and continue to create videos like this where I can share things that I am learning and loving and are helping me be my most confident, best, authentic self. So that's where I'm at. Thanks again for being the best, truly. Whew. All right, now that I got that little speech out of the way, I feel like I am going to take you guys through just a day in my life these are vlogs that i've been the most inspired by is falling in love with the mundane things again um and also just being a witness to people's lives and just their simple things that they do in their day um have been the videos that i have truly truly loved so i think let's get into some work stuff and then i'm gonna go to the grocery store to make some lunch and then i have a fitting later for activewear um so gonna go do that and then work out later i actually didn't work out this morning i went on a long walk with river as you guys saw and so um i wanted to get started on some things and then move my body later so that's kind of my day thus far and i also am going to be researching some um of our podcast guests that we're having on we have a podcast uh it's called transform it's with my best friend sammy and business partner um and life partner truly like uh i couldn't pick a better person to do this podcast with and it is out now so if you're watching this we have a couple episodes released and it really is all about everything that i'm kind of sharing here it's kind of in the same form but no video and us talking to specific subjects that we both are just diving into um, that we want to share and talk open and honestly about. So today I'm going to actually dive into three guests that we're having on next week and doing my research and thinking of questions that really I feel like you guys would really want to know from these people and myself. So that's kind of what I'm going to sit head down and do. I have my lemon water. I got myself a little juice because they make fresh juice. So another thing, just, just romanticizing my grocery trip. 
Um, I got carrot, apple, and lemon. I honestly can't remember, like, what, I don't know. I don't know what juice is actually, like, best for you, but this is what I was feeling. Um, lemon always makes me feel like I'm doing something good for my soul. Wow, that's really good. That's really, really good. Okay, I have all my goodies. I ended up getting goodies for dinner, too. Might as well. Um, lunch, I'm making a new recipe. Dinner, I'm making, like, an OG recipe that my mom taught me. This is the best thing about when you find recipes you love. You make them. I make them. Like, when I find a recipe I love, I'll make it, like, consistently. And, you know, in the beginning, it's really draining. You have to, like, look at the recipe consistently and being like, how much of this? How much of that? Oh, my gosh. And it feels a little bit more a lot and not as quick. But as soon as you find the recipes that you are like, oh, my gosh, I'm obsessed with and you made them so much, then when you go to the grocery store, you have these OG recipes that you're like, if I'm, like, trying to think of what to make, bam, I have that one recipe that I've made 40 times and I know how to make it. So, just know what days to actually make a new recipe and what days to just go to your OG ones. And if you love a recipe, make it four times that week and apologize to the people around you and just say, listen, I want to make this recipe and know how to make it in my sleep. So I need to make it four more times. Um, and that's what I did. I ended up getting the ingredients that I've known forever from my mom and this recipe that she's made. So lunch, trying a new recipe, dinner, super quick soup that uh, my mom's made one eternity later i also just got off a call with a girlfriend of mine and we were just talking about relationships and she's going through just um a growth time in her relationship is what i'll call it and i just feel like i want to say this so deeply and for anyone who needs to hear this for anyone who doesn't you can just let it pass on by relationships are colorful they are not black and white and i think i've talked about the theme of this video is being colorful life is colorful you are colorful and what i mean by that is there isn't one way to do anything it is so personal it is so you're right so you're wrong no one can tell you this is actually the way it is meant to be especially in honestly all areas of your life but we are such complex human beings and the more that we try to act like we're not is I think where we get into so much trouble and we battle actually the human experience that we are here to have and I think when you bring two humans together I was just talking to my girlfriend about this when you bring two humans together that have both gone through life for x amount of years without each other then you bring them together and say work like you should just magically work oh my gosh can we talk about the depths of especially choosing the growth mindset of a human being as an individual and then doing growth together there is this video where this man literally talks about the most important teacher in our life he believes is being in a relationship, a romantic relationship. Because being in a romantic relationship, you show the insides, the outsides, the everything that you are to the rawest of the realest if you allow yourself to go there. And it is going to teach you the most important lessons in life because you have someone who is truly bringing out some of maybe your deepest triggers, your deepest conditionings, your deepest patterns, and they're doing it and they're the person you love. So you're also craving this love from them. So it's this entire like self embodiment of truth and of being a human. And if you can find that right person that allows you to feel safe to do this work and they feel safe, they give you that safety and they give you that place and that space to say, hey, I'm here for you to do the work and I love you unconditionally. 
you as a couple will actually live the most truest, realest depths of a relationship and of your individual experience. That is where my heart believes. Maybe I'll play the video after this so you guys can see him say it better, but I resonated with that so much and I feel like I just want to tell everyone that that relationships are freaking colorful. They are not black and white. They are not one way. And also everything that you see on social media, of course, everyone is sharing more of their highlight reel and you hear this, but believe it, believe it to your deepest core. And we are all doing the best we can. And if we can actually say yes to ourselves and then say yes to a partner who's also saying yes to themselves, that's the thing. The partner has got to be also willing to do the work. And when you find someone who says yes to willing to do the work, that is mm, the yumminess of a relationship, especially a romantic one. Let's go make lunch. See my baby in the afternoon When I leave here, gonna live with you I'll be back on the 1st of June Will you hold my boots? Oh, dandelion My dandelion Tell me when you've made your mind So wake me up Till I go Fix the gate and leave the door If you want to talk about an easy lunch, this had to be one of the easiest ones I've ever done. Again, I am not a chef. I actually feel like JT's the chef in the family. I like simple. I'm good at simple. I'm all right at simple. Anything difficult in the kitchen is just overwhelming for me. I end up like just messing up the entire just to be dish to be so honest and this one <laughs> I can do I can work with this guy um, I got it from Form we have our nourishable okay wonky Our I think mine looks pretty the same I actually do not create the recipes on form because again, I am no chef. I love food, but I don't know what I'm doing. So we have our dietitian that creates all the meals. I approve them um, and she just knows me and what I'm like and she knows that I love simple meals that can be made under 30 minutes. Personally, if I'm in the kitchen, I don't like it to take all day. I like it to be something that again i can think about go back to i have a colorful plate i have good fats i have yummy vegetables i have good fats in the olive oil i have lemon i have protein in the chickpeas if you even wanted more protein you could add chicken um i have tomatoes spinach mixed greens and some more protein in the hummus so honestly this is a very nourishing meal so that is why it's called a nourish hummus bowl Mm. I'm trying to check peas. See if they have a good enough crunch. Mm-hmm. 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 I probably even could have kept the chickpeas in for like two more minutes to even make them crunchier, but they're really good, the taste. Okay, I'm impressed with my bowl. I'm impressed. Which doesn't happen a lot in the kitchen. But this meal that I got <clears throat> that I chose from is actually because we are in our January jumpstart program for Form. And for those who are new here, I own an app called Form. It's a wellness platform where you can find all of your things from fitness to nutrition to mindfulness with affirmations, meditations. It's really just like my full practice that I've put on there that has made me connect and be my most confident best self. And I share them with you guys. I'm gonna do a little bit of work on my phone. And then go from there. Yeah. 
You might hear my gardener in the background, but I am going to do 15 minutes of admin work and then I'm going to go into the podcast research and everything that I was sharing with you guys and I wanted to show you this thing is freaking incredible. So pretty much it's 15 minutes of sand. So when you flip it, it's 15 minutes. And anytime that I want to do something and I only want to do it for a certain amount of time, this thing is amazing because I feel like when I put timers on my phone, sometimes I'm looking at my phone and if I don't, hello flashlight, if I don't want to use my phone so that I'm also on it and like checking and I want it away from me so I'm no distractions when I'm trying to do a task, this thing is freaking amazing. You also can get one on Amazons that actually have like timers on them and they can do different ones, but aesthetic. Um, but I feel like when I'm doing laundry or when I want to have balance in my day, if I'm like, okay, I want to play with River, 15 minutes. Like it is so nice to have this thing and I just feel like it's an easy tool to actually see how much time you do towards things when you're not distracted. I do this with my makeup sometimes. I'm like, okay, I only, ha I only have a little bit of time. So when this sand is up, it allows me to see how much time I have and I need to do my makeup quick or whatever. I just love this thing. So here we go. Let it begin. Okay. <laughs> Listening to yourself back, I think the judgment definitely comes through. And I think it's almost hard for me sometimes to like hear actually the the facts and the beauty which i know there's so much being dropped in this episode already off the top there is it's an amazing episode so my wows i was just like wow this is more like challenging for me not that the episode doesn't have goodness so i appreciate that um i appreciate that uh feedback and definitely will look at it that way hearing myself is an interesting experience is maybe what i would call it um but a good one it's this podcast is growing me to my which I'm so grateful for. I was just talking to my partner Bernie in our Transform podcast and also in business and I'm listening back to our episodes and we go in and we like highlight the parts that we want to make into reels and pieces of content and I was saying it's just really hard for me to listen to myself back sometimes because I can be judgmental or I could be like why did you say that or why did you say it like that and I feel like the ego comes in quite a bit and it's really a beautiful challenging thing for me to just be kind to myself and know my intention with every episode which is so much love and so much uh, personal experience of everything that I am learning and so excited to share and feeling like I'm sharing so from my heart and that's what's most important so listening back and just having that intention here this is such a thing, honestly, that I am so guilty of. I put like, <laughs> I'll put like five minutes into something and I'm like, well, I should be a new woman by now. Like, or <laughs> even, you know, in, I swear, I'll have a therapy session and they'll share with me everything that, you know, I'm learning about myself. And I'm like, well, now that I know, I think I'm good and I'm changed. And wow, I put that as a priority. Like I, instead, oh my gosh, when I leave that therapy session, I'm going to have to make this part of my toolbox of like practicing what I'm learning every single day, journaling, really leaning into the work and putting it into my schedule. But I am so guilty of not having patience. But when I look back at everything that has been a priority, that has been grand and that has been amazing in my life, it has taken the time and patience and has been the biggest reward. <laughs> Did you have a really great day? I just, I literally just met with Haley. That's all I've done since I've seen you. That's awesome. It went so well. Cool. Cool. I legit, my eyes are burning so bad. I put like a new cream on last night and literally, I guess I got it too close to my eyes and literally my eyes are like burning and raw. But Rivy's having the best day. Oh my gosh. Looks like he's just watching a TV show. <laughs> Little does he know he is about to go to a grooming appointment soon, so let's just let him live in this bliss. I just was in the mood for doing the trend that I've seen on TikTok where you actually share very, like, raw reel of everything that has gone on, like, maybe today or in your life that isn't a highlight reel, and I'm going to try it. All right, here we go. First time. 
the rash around my eyes is so <laughs> is so painful that I feel like my face is burning off and I know that I probably shouldn't have makeup on but I couldn't help but put a little bit of makeup on today and all I want to do is take it off but I'm on my way to a meeting so I gotta keep it on I feel like I'm in this time of my life where I'm discovering so much about myself that sometimes I'm so in the mud of it that I can get really hopeless about life and just feel really hopeless about the world changing and it kind of freaks me out sometimes. I am, because I haven't been able to work out with my surgery, um, I have not been feeling really confident in my body and it makes me not want to wear certain clothing because it makes me feel insecure about my upper body because I haven't been able to work out and I feel really like my muscles gone and just doesn't feel like me um, so that's great I feel like I took a really big time of solitude and now I am doing my best to lean into my relationships that might have felt really left alone for some time because I needed my space. So really leaning back into those and going through all types of feelings of that. I dropped my vlog camera today, so I don't know if I'm meant to be a vlogger. Okay, I just got to the office with Mon. She is our designer for form. And today we're having a little fitting that I'm gonna bring you guys in on. I'm not gonna show you at all what we're fitting, unfortunately. I'm gonna face the camera completely towards us um, and giving the feedback, but you guys will see the pieces so, so soon. And maybe I'll give a little sneak peek to one of the pieces. Um, and then right now we're also just reviewing future colors for April's drop. So you guys are on the little inside scoop and I'll give you a little tour after the fitting. Thank you for that compliment, truly. How was that workout that you guys did? Were you well? It was good. I was, yeah, I felt good. I think the one that killed me the most was, was it maybe day two? It was like the leg one. I like felt like I was like this down my, <laughs> going down my stairs. Oh, yeah, my I think we could get a little bit warmer, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I a feel little like bit it has, more bone. I almost feel like it has a gray undertone on the skin, mm -hmm. on your skin. So this is actually our form HQ, as well as where I film all of our workouts that live on form. And I feel like people always think that I have like this massive studio or something. And literally this is, this is where we film, this is it. So it's truly like this loft where we make it work for the entire team to work, as well as for me. It is almost 7 p.m. I am on my way home. We had a really late night fitting. Um, but I am so excited for you guys to see this next collection. We changed our fabric from the first one just because there were certain things about it that we just wanted to elevate even more. So my mission is to find the best fabric thought possible. Obviously I've tried a gazillion fabrics being in the fitness space for so long. So I just know what I wanna die in and we found it. So this next collection, will be launching in March and it will be the new fabric and new styles and these styles are really girly and feminine and sexy and very appealing to all bodies like I'm so excited I feel like there's something for everyone in this collection or everything for everyone and the colors are really unique and once everything is that something that I would want to wear and again die in is what I always tell my team and my designer so I'm so grateful and everything I try on as well if you guys got to kind of see in the fitting we have a fit model but I also try everything on and fit to myself and make the changes and make sure it's something that I truly feel so comfortable with we honestly had another collection dropping earlier this year but it just was not it for me and i will never put out something that i do not die over or think that you guys will be obsessed with you deserve the best as well and i want to give that so we are pushing out our date a little bit um but march is now the new date for the new collection so this is a whole new world that I am in. I'm used to a digital space and having such 
tangible products is a whole other ball game, but it's challenging me in so many beautiful ways and I'm grateful for my incredible team. Um, but yeah, I'm so grateful for everyone who has supported us in our first collection and I'm just even more excited for you to see our second collection and all the learnings that we learned from our first one and how much better this one is going to be. So JT just texted me and said that he wants a burger tonight. I was going to make the recipe that I said my mom made growing up, which is our steak soup. Um, and he said he wants a burger. So that might be the energy tonight. Instead, I'm down, honestly, but a day. Um, and then we'll probably just watch a movie and chill because um, I kind of have a busy day again tomorrow. So if uh, the night gets too crazy, I will end the vlog here. And just want to thank you guys again for watching for making this far with me and for just being a part of my journey with your whole heart and again thinking about me loving on me I am sending all of that love oh so deeply right back to you all right I love you